Now, the NSA's stranglehold on digital data communications uh, makes privacy seem perhaps like a thing of the past. So RT's Marina Portnaya tried to see uh, if she could avoid Big Brother while going about her daily business in New York. In a post-PRISM USA, anonymity has become a rare commodity. Some accept it, others are outraged. But at the end of the day, there's no easy way of escaping the prying eye of the NSA. Five years ago, I would have said, cell phone, little snitch in your pocket, dump it. Don't bring your cell phone with you all the time. Now it doesn't matter. Now you have automatic license plate readers that track where you are. Now you have metro passes and and easy passes and the city bike system and facial recognition. Like it or not, every American armed with technology has been cast in their own 24-hour reality show. The National Security Agency is the uninvited paparazzi you never see or hear. It makes me more, more careful about what I speak about on the phone and the way I conduct my business. And, and I, I think it, it creates a certain consciousness that, uh, that weighs on us. I feel like at this point, I'm just a number in all of their data. Everything these days is so, it's so critical to use and that technology is just part of our lives now and it's kind of unavoidable if you want to keep up with what's going on these days. What are you going to do, not have a cell phone, not have a car, not live in a city? The only solution for living NSA free is to divorce from all things digital. Experts say using encrypted search engines or changing security settings on social networks isn't enough. The truth is you have to maintain alternate identities and compartmentalized identities. You have to behave like an intelligence agent. You have to constantly be thinking, what tracks do I leave? Clearly, retaining privacy under America's web of surveillance requires some sacrifice. And here is where we're going to figure out how much. So first things first, I use a subway to get to work. Now, if I use my credit card to buy my Metro card, then I could be tracked. So instead, I'm going to use cash. Easy. I usually check emails and voicemails during my five block walk to work, but living NSA free requires living without a cell phone. Fingers crossed I'm not missing any breaking news right now. So now I'm at my office. I need to swipe a key card to get inside. A security company knows where I am. At my desk, I'm still NSA free. I log into my corporate email, but I can't use Skype. I can't use Twitter. I don't have a Facebook account, so there's no sacrifice there. But here's the problem. I can't use the web to research or read the news because all my activity can be tracked. Newspaper. Yesterday's news, but better than nothing. This is about the time that I check in with my producer. Invalid number. My phone call wouldn't go through, and my only other prism free option is snail mail, a slower but surveillance free alternative. Or so I thought. Marina Portnaya, RT, New York.